Today is th uh, Friday, 15 of July 2016. This educational video is produced by Topaya Vets to discuss about hamster tumors in Singapore hamsters. Now, Singaporeans do keep hamsters, dwarf hamsters, sirens, and uh, the dwarf ones. And uh, they, they always have a difficulty in finding a hamster vet. Now, the reason being that uh, hamster vets are not, not many because uh, most of the vets are doing dogs and cats and uh, rabbits and guinea pigs. Hamsters, hamsters seldom see the vet unless they have tumors. Although lately, there are some changes in uh, the behavior of younger Singaporeans. They do bring the hamster to the vets for treatment. For example, wet tail, skin disease, and the tumors. Now, in this case, this case, uh, this is a Syrian hamster, Syrian hamster, male, two years old. Now, one week ago, the owner discovered a very big swelling here, here, which you will see in the other video, the first video. And this swelling actually extends below the neck and uh, to the chest. As you can see, it's a big swelling. And uh, so she brought it to the vet. Now this vet said that uh, wait till the, the hamster's tumor becomes too big. And then when the hamster cannot eat and drink, just to uh, put it to sleep. Because he feels that uh, it, it will be too risky to uh, operate on it. Now, as you can see, this tumor is really big. You can see the operation scar, the, the, the stitches here. It's more than 3 cm. So, the boyfriend, who, who actually was bitten by this hamster, did a Google search uh, for the words Hamster Cancer Singapore. So, under this Google search, he discovered Topayo Vets, the treat hamster tumors. And uh, there was a website which you saw, and this website shows shows that uh, Papaya West has treated hamster with big tumors, as you can see. This is one of our patients, and this was treated in uh, 2009. 2009, and uh, this is the difficulty in walking. Now, this one, this tumor. It's definitely very big, as big as presently. Now, what you see here, okay, so you see here the, the results of the, of the surgery. Now, so you can see the stitches is quite big. And uh, it's a fatty tumor. And the thing is that most Singaporeans, they don't bring the, the hamster to, to the vet when the tumors are small. So it's best to get your vet to remove tumors when they are very small and, and the anesthetic risk is very little. So this is one case whereby I put on the website to educate the, the Singaporean hamster owners. Now, the other case which I had put on the website to educate Singaporeans is another one, also two years old. And you can see this one has a big fat tumor as well. And uh, this case, many vets with no experience in hamsters, anesthesia and surgery will say just wait until you can't eat and cannot walk and then put you to sleep. But uh, because Topaya Vets has a lot of cases from the internet of hamster tumors, so we are able to gain the experience to operate and remove them successfully. As you can see, this is another one, fatty tumor. And uh, these are in 2009. So these are the two cases I put on the website, but uh, there are others as well. So now we come back to 2016, which is seven years later. 
so we do have more experiences in uh, anesthesia. So what we use is Zolotil 100, which is used uh, given by IM, very low, very low dosage at 0 0.001 uh, to effect. And then we supplement with isoflurin gas. Isoflurin gas, normally I do about uh, 5% or even 3%, but I only give to 10 seconds. I don't give until the hamster uh, uh, collapsed because we can't tell exactly. So if you give more than 10 seconds, which I count 1 and a 2 and a 3 and a 4 and a 5 and a 6 and a 7, and a 8 and a 9 and a 10, then I take the hamster out from the, from the the chamber, the gas chamber, and then, then uh, assess it. If it's if it's okay, then I operate. If it's still feeling the pain, I will put it in again. So this is back for back for. So in that case, if the zolotil is not sufficient, then uh, isoprene top up gas will uh, will help to provide the top up anesthesia anesthesia. So in that way. You don't, you don't get a dead hamster. As you can see, this hamster was operated about one hour ago and already has been passing some, some stools which shows that he has recovered fully from the zoletal anesthesia. And the tumour here, you can see, is about 3.5 cm. It's a subcutaneous tumour from the neck. And uh, before, before the surgery was 1.6 grams. So always wear the hamster. Of the surgery was 99 grams, so so from here you can tell that uh, without having to weigh the tumor directly, that is based on the weight of the hamster. So I can show you here now. This is a post-op weight. You see 99 grams, 99 grams post-op. And uh, before op, I, I weigh him. He was 116. So this tumor itself is 17 grams, which is quite heavy. And according to the owner. The hamster has lost weight, you can feel the spine, spinal process due to this tumour disturbing him. Now, one week ago, she brought the, the, this hamster to the first vet. Now, for some unknown reason, the first vet put some, I, I believe it was surgical glue, surgical glue onto the hole in the, in the tumour on the skin to close up the hole. The holes are about 2mm. I mean, I'm not talking about now. Now, of course, the tumor is taken out. There's no more hole, but there was a hole in the big tumor, which you will see in the first video. And uh, this surgical glue, it doesn't make sense to cover up the hole because, according to the owner, the hole came out again because after half an hour, the, the hole uh, in the tumor skin breaks open again. So, if, if the vet has no experience in, uh, in uh, operating on such a large tumour, then it's best to, um, to ask the owner to, to go to another vet. If not, then the owner himself can do some um, googling, uh, maybe check for Hamster Tumour Singapore or Hamster Vet Singapore. And most likely you can find vets who are doing the hamster anesthesia and surgery. So this case, as you can see now, is 2016 and uh, with, with uh, many cases that are coming in from internet, so property vets will have the opportunities and uh, the experience to, to make sure that the amount of zolotil use is just sufficient and uh, the amount of uh, isoprene gas is just enough without killing the hamster because at the end of the day, the, the owner expects uh, a survival, a hamster that survived. Now this is two years old. Many Singaporeans will say, just don't don't waste money. My son just uh, wait until it just can't eat and uh, put it to sleep. But apparently this owner, the boyfriend is more a, a hamster ca caring for the hamster and uh, and uh, en encourage and serve the internet to find find top air beds. Now, if you have a look at this, you can see that the teeth uh, actually is a bit overgrown because it was eating much less. So you can see, probably you have to trim a bit of the teeth, the lower teeth, so they can eat very well. Other than that, 
you can see it's dehydrated. So we need to give some fluid, oral one, uh, probably by lap piece, and let, let him recover his uh, dehydration. So even post-op, you, you, you don't just uh, operate and then say, okay, bye-bye, you go home, because you can see that it's dehydrated. Of course, you can't give IV drip. You can't give IV drip because the veins are too small. Uh, subcutaneous, you can give, but but since uh, the hamster is quite active, I would just advise oral, oral electrolytes, and antibiotics, and painkillers, and the stitches itself will dissolve in 14 days time now. It's very rarely the hamster scratches his own uh, stitches, uh, provided you give painkillers. Now you can see that uh, there needs to be daily cleaning of the blood, blood stain and this hamster goes home today, the owner will look after it and make sure it has uh, good food. And you can see it's still eating because if it wasn't eating, you wouldn't see the stools. Huh? You can see stools, you can see his passing stools. So he still has much life in him and uh, Syrian hamsters live two, two and a half to three years. So the, the owner has uh, decided to operate and unfortunately they, they don't want uh, histology because if, uh, if we do histology we will know whether this is a cancerous tumour or not since uh, the owner does not want, want histology so I'm, I'm, I'm unable to tell just by looking whether this one is a cancerous uh, tumour or not if not then it's just a fatty tumour and fatty tumours, if it's not cancerous, it, it will not recur so fast. If it's cancerous, it will recur within next month. Within, within four weeks, you will see another big lump. So this concludes the video on uh, hamster tumours. So the, con the advice to all the, all the Singaporean hamster owners is that it's best you Google for hamster vet hamster vet or hamster tumour vet Singapore or hamster cancer vet Singapore if your vet is not confident enough to operate. Now the, the situation in Singapore is that many vets they don't have sufficient cases to to uh, operate, to anesthetize and operate on hamsters because vets they uh, don't uh, don't have the, the cases, you need the cases and uh, and and they, they can't uh, be the same vet doing this hamster because in, in any practice there may be more than one vet and and so so the hamster vet may not be available or may not uh, the, the other vet may not be able to actually operate on such large tumors so they just uh, give some antibiotics and painkillers in, in this case and then uh, tell the owner that uh, wait till the, hems the tumour gets bigger until the hamster cannot walk or eat or drink and then uh, just put it to sleep and uh, of course to the, to the hamster owner this is not acceptable but uh, unless they really think of googling then they have no choice but wait for the tumours to enlarge until the hamster can't in this case can't eat and drink or can't breathe because the hamster is around the neck and uh, or around the leg so my advice is check the hamster every day or every week feel, feel the whole body whether there's any small lumps or if there are any small subcutaneous lumps less than uh, 5 mm get it operated and removed rather than you wait until in this case you can see it is 3.5 centimeter diameter and uh, removal is very high anesthetic risk and that's why most vets don't want to do it. This concludes the video. Thanks. Okay.